She walked into the library. She followed the directions to the secret location at 3 a.m. to brave the voice in her head screaming that this is crazy. She followed the instructions on the paper to a T, and the doors opened up to her. This was the greatest library she'd ever seen, and her eyes lit ablaze with the fire of curiosity. She walked in looking around at the huge display of books, turning slowly in a circle. Introduce yourself, she heard in a booming, bountiful, sultry voice. Ava swung around, looking for the source of the voice. Hello? Who's there? Again it boomed. Introduce yourself. Ava straightened up, took a deep breath, and exclaimed, I am Ava. Hi. I was told I could visit your amazing library. Ava nervously went to Babylon, when before her eyes she began to see the books moving, not just falling, but arranging, rearranging themselves in strange ways. One opened up and the words bled together and hopped off the page. Ava's eyes widened. The words grew through her. They flew through her. They surrounded her and danced in recognition. Instant upload of information, Avalon, all the Avas to have ever lived before and their epic tales now swam inside her DNA's water. Her eyes actually emanating a light when the words were done and exiting her. She fell to the ground. The words returned to the book and the book closed. Ava sat breathing heavy. She felt different, athletic, and instantly recalled one Ava who was a hunter. She challenged herself and did a cartwheel. Hmm, I couldn't do that before. Her heart and brain lit up with pure excitement as she looked around again at all the books, realizing what hidden gem she was inside of. The Library of Lives. Do I choose them or do they choose me? She heard a voice. Ava's. The stories you are meant to live, understand and experience will choose you. Choose the topic. Ava took another deep breath. Oh my God, any subject? What should I experience? What should I learn? Well, the voice of the book spoke. What will it be? Ava looked up and with a glare of the eternal child, she said, God, show me God. The books opened and danced and fell and prepared to flash through her. She raised her arms, opened them, and prepared to embody.